name's Nicholas Hill and I'd like to welcome you to this training guide that's going to show you how to set up and use a Stage Zero Dolly and an MX2 controller from Dynamic Perception. During the course of the next half an hour or so, we're going to cover everything you need to know and understand to get one of these MX2 controllers set up, looking at all the different options and the different ways in which you can control both your camera and the rail together. Hopefully by the end of this you'll have a great idea as to how easy it is to set up and go out and produce some fantastic time-lapse photography. So let's not waste any further time, let's jump straight in and have a look at how we set up this MX2 control engine. The MX2 is designed to be extremely simple to use and let you quickly input the most important parameters during a shoot. This training guide will demonstrate using that controller. There are five push buttons, four arranged in a cross pattern and one to the left. The four buttons together are left, right, up and down, whilst the button to the left is the enter button. When on the main screen, pressing the enter button will display the main menu. Pressing enter on any menu item will either display the sub-menu selected, or if the item selected is an input, will display it for editing. When a value for editing is displayed, you may use the up and down keys to alter the value. If you wish to save a value, press the enter button. To exit the editor without saving, press the right button and the original value will be restored. The right button also functions as the back button, allowing one to go back up one level from any menu or return to the main screen from the top level menu. To increase or decrease a number, you can simply hold up or down. To continue to increase or decrease the value for as long as you hold it down. The longer you hold the button, the faster it increases or decreases the value. In this manner, you can easily enter large numbers. When editing certain values such as RPM for a motor axis or interval timer, they are automatically saved to permanent memory for you. In this way, you will not have to make the same changes between restarts. Direction and speed of a given axis are designed to be changed more regularly and so are not saved to permanent memory. The main screen provides an overview of the current status and allows for quick modification of key operating parameters. This screen has the following layout. On the first line we have the current status on or off, the intervalometer timing and a count of the number of shots fired since turned on. The second line displays the direction and speed for each motor with motor 1 on the left and motor 2 on the right. Pressing right will advance through the values that can be changed directly from the main screen. Status, timing, motor direction and speed for each motor. When a particular value is displayed with a flashing cursor on it, you can change the value using the up and down arrows. You may change any value whilst the shoot is running and it will take immediate effect. The motor speed can be displayed in either percentage, inches per minute or centimetres per minute and this is configured from the settings menu. Pressing enter at any time will return to the main menu even if a program is running. 